Alright guys, coming at you on a Saturday morning-ish, late morning. Uh, it's like 11 o'clock or something. Saturday, oh! What? Hey Will. Hey! And uh, yeah, so Will, Will just kind of appeared, you know. Didn't know he was coming over or anything. So, uh, got the tractors today. What? What? That's weird. Hmm. So anyway, we got the tractors today. And, uh, sound the Suburban 12, finally. That'll be in another video. Um, okay, just stop. What? Anyway, so Will's over today. Don't be fat. Beat me to it. So Will's over today with his custom 10XL, his pulling tractor, which you have seen in previous videos, beating this. Um, Wait, what was that? Okay, well, you won. We get it. And you have a Cummins, it's cool, you know. You win, you win the small weenie contest, but anyway, so Will's yeah, over today. Jealousy won't get you anywhere. I'm not jealous. Anyway, opinions aside, Will won, and he's hanging out today. Um, as I said, this is going to be sold today, but different video. Anyway, so uh, I'll, uh, Will, take it away and tell us what you brought. Well, this is my 69 Sears 10XL. Um... I've done some work to it. I put in, had to rewire the ignition system when I got it because there's no wiring. Here, let's pop the hood on it. Um, and oh, put new. Nice air filter. Yeah, working on that one. Super high performance. Oh my god, that's got to add like what, like 20 horsepower? At least. <laughs> you don't even know. And that that performance exhaust with like, you know. Loose piping. I mean, that's got to add like at least 15 or 20 pounds of boost. At least. And you're running, you're running a VTEC in this. <laughs> running a VTEC. <laughs> no, okay. Uh, that sticker adds 10 horsepower. Um, I uh, did this exhaust for it. The threads on the tack recently came loose. That's a new problem. So we can zoom in on that a little bit. It's new problem. So it seems like you've had. That. Seems like you've had many problems. And then I put new rings in it. And such so and tell us about these tires uh these tires are 26 by 12 12 uh dick Sepik pulling tires got them for 225 dollars mounted on aluminum rims on, on aluminum rims by the way and, and tires. Um, so those are for pulling and i think they look pretty cool oh yeah the fenders are uh mia moment <laughs> because they didn't really fit but I'm okay with that. Yeah, Will's okay with it not fitting, guys, just for future reference. <laughs> cool. <laughs> um, it runs good. It yeah, used, to, used to smoke a lot, uh, but after doing the rings and running seafoam through it, it pretty much cleaned it right up. Cool. Well, so, uh, fire it up. Definitely. Nice. There's yeah, it runs pretty good. So do you think it needs a little card work, or what are we going to be doing on it today? Uh, just messing around with it, um, having some fun. Cool. Now you said this is set up for pulling, so what it, what modifications have you done for pulling? Uh, well, the tires, um, also welded this hook. This is my pulling hook. Redneck, but it works, guys. Um, it got me first place, so I'd say it works. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> um. Also welded wheelie bars, which are not here, but you can kind of see the marks that they left. Um, this ball obviously disappears when I'm pulling. Now, have you added weight anywhere, or? Yeah, I, uh, well, last pull, I had 120 pounds hanging through this hole, and there's another hole on the other side. Um, it was hanging through these. Yep. I also had 60 pounds under the seat, and, uh, Enormous stack on my plow. I got a dozer blade. Yeah, I wonder where that came that. from. 
Yeah, I might have bought that off the of queue. That beautiful dozer blade that was in mint condition when I sold it to you. Yeah, not so much anymore. Yeah, I know. Um, Sad face. But, um, I'm definitely going to figure out a new system for front weight. What? Oh, yeah. Um, also, these tires look completely stock, obviously. Um, but in reality, they have 85 pounds of windshield washer fluid in them. Nice. Um, which definitely helps. We're pulling dead weight, too, if you watch the videos. So we don't need to get the tires spinning. In fact, if you're spinning the tires, it's bad. You got a problem. So. Jonathan Limblom. <laughs> shout out right there. Oh, yeah. You want to keep the tires on the ground, definitely. Um, and I can't believe I've had this thing for about three years now, and it's come really far. Really? It's been three years? Something like that. It's like two and a half. Holy shit. Yeah, you're right. Almost three. Yeah. We, I got my 8XL August 21st, 2009, and then you got yours not long after. Holy shit, you're right. No. Wait. Because I pulled with I pulled with the 16 at two 4 H fairs. And I pulled this we, we've, twice. We've, yeah, we've, we've pulled twice, so we've had them but for... But I also had this for a good while before I pulled for the first time. Because it wasn't ready to go for Scanic in 2010, because that's when we pulled with the 8XL. Yeah, but I owned it before Scanic. So if you I, brought... I, something went wrong with it. <laughs> I don't remember. It was probably something stupid. Well, we've we've had them for a while. Let's put yeah, it that way. You could say a while. Custom flapper exhaust. Jeez, I wonder where you got that idea. Just kidding. Actually, I'm pretty sure I put the stack on before you did. Actually, I think you're right. Yeah. Um, although no, because I got the I had it on the SS15. That is true, but that didn't work out. But I had a stack first, and on that stack, there was a flapper. Anyway, guys, so I'm going to cut it short for now, but uh, probably get some driving videos or something. Um, Maybe a pull-off, possibly. Ooh. Pull-off. Gee, I wonder where that idea came from. Um, so, yeah, we'll uh, keep you updated. Take it easy.